Uh, good evening, Mr. Chair and, and the committee. My name is Demetrius Johnson. I'm a resident of St. Louis, Missouri. Grew up in the Dawes Webby Housing Projects. Attended the University of Missouri Columbia where I played football. I was drafted by the Detroit Lions where I played there for years. I'm now a national sales manager for Covidian uh, in St. Louis. Um, the program that I'm here to speak about, I, and I'm gonna make this clear. I mean, if any of you know me or know of me, I'm very blunt and candid about what I'm here for. I don't, I'm not here to represent Democrats or Republicans, the parties. I'm here to represent the young black men and young black boys in the street of St. Louis. When you look at all the, the issues that we have going on in our community in St. Louis, it's devastating. I have kids, and anything can happen to my kids, just like it is. I mean, we're not immune from the tragedies that's going on in the street. My foundation being able to partner with the District Council 58 Painters Union is just tremendous. You're gonna hear from two young men that's here, both of these guys from the street. See, they're out there in the grind. They're out there in the war zone. A lot of times when I play in the NFL, the thing that keeps me so, I guess, in tune with the community, we give away 3,000 turkeys every year. We go and raise the money. We don't get union money. We don't get federal or state money. We get money from friends in the community that I go out there and, and then do these things for. But what keeps me level-headed is because when I go into these communities, we take the baskets to the door of the homes. And it keeps us real and get us understanding that there are folks in a community who is truly suffering, who truly don't have anything to hope for. Sometimes when you're up in this, in this community or here, this political, I'm not used to the political ring, arena that I'm in today, but I'm gonna tell you something. Sometimes you can be in this arena and forget about the other, the true arena. That's the constituents out there in the street who's going through all these problems. The, the tragedies that these young men and women are facing in my community, I can't speak of no one else's community. I can speak of mine. I don't have to do what I do in that community. When I woke up this morning, put on my clothes, and got in the car, drove up here, you know what I was thinking? I had a great life. Life has been good to me. My kids are in college, kids are out of college, have a great job. I don't need to ask any one of you for nothing up here. That makes me feel good because it's independence. But when I hear the situation, I'm just here to talk about the program, the Council 58 District Council, what they're doing for these young men. It's a 14-week program. It's a five-day, eight, five-week, five days a week program. They are there at 6.30 in the morning. They do not leave until 3.30 in the afternoon and they don't get a dime. But we always want to talk about our young black youth are lazy. They don't want to do anything for themselves. They don't want no chances out in the street. But let me tell you something, you got folks down there that's there at six o'clock every morning. And they don't leave until 4.30 every day. And they don't get paid a dime. I guarantee you none of you be here at six o'clock in the morning, you wouldn't even pay. Guarantee you that. But I'm telling you, we got some young folks that want to do that. Johnson, we're under some real time. Yes, sir. But I just, I just need to let you. Yes, sir, Chair. I just need everybody to understand the program that the District Council 58 has allowed these young men to take part in is tremendous. You don't have to worry about these young men anymore on the street doing nothing because they're going to do their best to take care of their family. They want the same dream that every one of you up here want and everyone in the back. Safe, equitable, fairness, and an opportunity to provide for their family. Thank you, Mr. Chair and the committee. Thank you, sir. I, I can allow three minutes each from this point forward, ladies and gentlemen. Understandable. How you doing, Mr. Chairman and the committee? My name is Renaldo Ward, 33 of age. Um, I'll be brief uh, about myself. Um, just to be out in the streets, uh, I only uh, made it through uh, my uh, third year in, in uh, high school. Do not have my uh, high school diploma or my GED. Uh, didn't really think that I needed one for uh, for anything. Basically, uh, try to take care of my family uh, any way that I could uh, for in the streets. My daughter is 16 of age. I have five kids. My uh, youngest is five. Uh, I say this to say that I know nothing about the union. I uh, one talk about this in school. My mother, father never brought anything to me, you know, uncles, uh, nobody that's in this field. 
Um, just basically thought it was a government job. You know, you get paid, you get paid more than McDonald's. Uh, don't feel like McDonald's, Wendy's is a good job for for any anyone. You know, have to deal with attitudes or you know, it's not a skill in flipping burgers. Uh, I basically say this to say that now uh, I'm married. I've been married for six years. I've been with my wife, my wife for seven. Um, I have never changed a tire in my life. I'm 33 years age. Have not did anything with my hands. Anybody asked me to do anything, I don't think I would done. Uh, what I have learned now uh, with the, the painters union is uh, how to get up early in the morning, knowing that I need to get there, knowing that if I go to this, uh, this training, that I'm getting a skill to learn how to paint, uh, to, how to build, that I could teach also to my kids, something that someone can't take away from me. Uh, also, uh, discipline. Uh, uh, the 15 young men that we have in this program right now, I, I never knew, uh, never met. Uh, if I walk past them in the streets, uh, private arguments, fights, stuff like that, that I'm used to in the streets. And right now, these uh, 15 men, uh, we're talking to each other, we're understanding uh, how to pick up each other to make sure they get there on time, that we will make it past this program for these 14 weeks to help our another 15 uh, African Americans, uh, a 401k. Uh, I never think that I have anything, a pension, anything like that. All I know that this is not a, just a job, that it's a career. And if any questions, anything, that's all I have to say. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have uh, one more uh, gentleman. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Very Jerry. briefly, please. Yes, sir. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Frankie Edwards. I'm 25 years old. I'm from um, North St. Louis. Um, I know a few of y'all who be down there in the city. I'm one of the bad kids around the neighborhood, but not no more. What I feel about the um, the program is it's teaching me the skills and everything and the training that I need to know where I can get inside the union, get a good paying job and everything. Um, hands on. I had a problem with school with um, reading and all that, and I need a hands-on training one-on-one, -on -one, and I feel that the program is, is giving me all the things I need with dealing with painter and all the little tactics and all that. Um, what I want to say about me growing up in a community where you just down on luck, you feel like there's not no opportunity out there for you. I was selling drugs, I was locked up, uh, I played with guns, um, stolen cars, I did the whole nine and everything. But dealing with um, Demetrius Charitable Foundation, when he talked to me about the program, it um, it opened my eyes, and I got two kids, two boys, and everything. I want I want the best for my kids, even if I can't enjoy the things that I'm working for. I want my kids to enjoy them. So I um, salute the um, Painter Union Council 58 and Demetrius Johnson, and also the other people inside the community that are helping us because this program it will stop a lot of things if you believe it or not. And I'm speaking on behalf of the people my age and the generation for us to get inside and get these opportunities, get the opportunities that everybody else is getting. Say like, dealing with this program, they see me working in the um, program and they see the other 14 gentlemen inside the program. They're like, dang, so you was going to school for free, doing all that training, now you getting paid, now you got this and that. Now they gonna wanna join the same, the same program and get the same things I want. I feel it'll lessen crime, and tighten up things. So, this is a brief. I'm doing this. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Edwards, Mr. Thank Ward. You. Appreciate you.